Okay, so again, we're looking at this equation and we see that it is currently in standard form with AX plus BY equals C. We want to get it in Y equals MX plus B form. The pieces are there. We need to move them into the right place and then get the Y by itself. This is our important piece here. We're trying to find what our slope is, so we want to know what that m is going to be after we've readjusted this equation. So the first thing I want to do is subtract this 8x. It has the x with it, which means it's going to end up being where my slope shows up. That's going to leave us with 2y on the left. I'm going to put the negative 8x here because that's where it goes in this equation and the 96 is our plus B. Except it's not yet. Nothing's finished until the Y is by itself. And as soon as I divide out this 2, we're going to know what our slope is. You have to divide it from all of the pieces of the equation. 2 divided by 2 leaves us with an invisible 1 and Y. Negative 8 divided by 2 leaves us with negative 4, X, plus 48. So what did our book ask us for? It's asking us to find the slope. This is the slope. You can show slope or m is equal to negative 4 or you could show it as negative 4 over 1. Either way it's not going to be positive it's going to be nice negative. negative. Nice. negative. So we're going to do number nine together and then number ten these are not in standard form but they have all the pieces we just need to get things in the right places I see my 5x here and I know I want it to be on the right side of the equation because in y equals mx plus b, the mx goes right after the equal sign. So I'm going to subtract it from both sides. 5x minus 5x is going to leave me with 0. And everything in this equation right now is on the right side of the equal sign. Negative 5x plus 90 minus ny. I want the y on the left side, don't I? That means it's, it's like a negative n y, so we're going to. I said, did I say n y? I'm thinking New York. <laughs> nine y. I'm going to add nine y to both sides. I just want to point out our step before. It's okay to get a zero on one side of your equal sign. I'm going to fix it. It just right now means that if I had a scale, I've done everything equal to it. It just feels like everything's on the one side and the other side is equal to nothing. So this is NY. I did it again. 9Y <laughs> minus 5X plus 90. What's with the Y that we want to get rid of? 9. Nine. Is 5 going to be divided evenly by 9? No. Nope. And it, it's okay. We're not trying to get nice even numbers. We're trying to find slope. And slope is a ratio of rise over run. It can look like a fraction, and that's fine. If I divide everything by 9, I want you to watch what happens with my, my slope piece of this. 9 over 9 becomes just y. I'm going to rewrite this as negative 5 over 9x. Do you see I took the x out of the fraction? I just placed it next to it. And then 90 divided by 9 is 10. Okay, so keeping in mind y equals mx plus b when you're trying to solve for slope, you're just putting all the pieces in the right places and getting the y by itself and you'll find your slope. Let's do one last problem together. Ten. Number 10. 5y is equal to 160 plus 9x.
there's two things that need to happen with this equation. I'd like you to turn and talk to your neighbor about what are the two things where it's not in the right format yet. Okay, volunteer, who can tell me one of the things that has to change? Yeah. These two are in the wrong place for the equation, right? All I have to do is flip them. I'm not changing anything about them except their position, and that gets them into the right place. Can't you just picture somebody behind the curtain on a stage yelling out to everybody in the theater, positions, please, get in your right spot before we can open the, right? Oh, yeah. it's, a, it's the truth with these equations though. You have to make sure everything's in the right place or you're not going to necessarily find what you want. What's the other thing that has to happen here? I need to divide the 5 out. I need to get rid of it away from that Y because that Y needs to be alone. And 9 is not going to divide evenly by 5 and it doesn't need to. You don't need to turn it into a, an improper fraction. You can just leave it as it is. 5 divided by 5 is invisible 1. 9 over 5x plus 2. Right? It's 160. 30 times 5 would be 150 plus the 10. That's it. That's all you... And what's my answer here? M equals 9 fifths. That's how you answer it, which I just realized we never did with number nine. Number nine's answer, m is equal to negative five over nine. It is the opposite. It's actually called the inverse reciprocal. Okay, I'm going to find some space to write your problems here. It's not tons. You could, just like yesterday, get it done here in class, even though we have like 20-ish minutes left, just under that. Page 328. Numbers 11 through 21. Sorry, I was off screen. I didn't realize it. I will tell you, when you're finding slope in some of these early problems, one will be zero and one will be undefined and it's really important for you to be able to tell from the numbers which one is which okay 